Welcome. In front of me is uh, Acer uh, Nitro 5 and in this video I will show you how to update drivers on this laptop. So first of all let me show you how to download all the essential drivers. You have to go to the start menu from here open settings then in settings go to windows update and here you'll find all the essential updates if you don't see any then hit uh, check the check for updates button and then wait until uh, the updates are checked for uh, then go to uh, you can also go to advanced options and in optional updates you will find more driver updates uh, which are also essentials for essential for your computer so if you have any updates there hit the checkbox next to the ones you want to download and click download and install uh, now, once uh, you install all the updates, you may have to, uh, especially if those are driver updates, you may have to restart your PC and uh, here you will see the button uh, which will uh, be active when the, uh, the, the installation process is finished. You, you'll be able to click on it uh, and it, it will say restart now and it will restart your computer and apply all the changes. Alternatively, you can uh, also just open the start menu and restart your computer once the updates are finished. Now, the, to install more updates for your computer, you have to open the browser, then go to the search engine. Uh, let me open it in, in the private mode because I'm not sure that I'm gonna be able to proceed to the Acer web page after so many requests. Okay, so in your uh, web browser search for the Acer drivers and you're gonna find the official acer.com slash home slash support website that says download Acer support drivers and manuals. Open this website. Here you're gonna have to enter the SSN ID or serial number into this field and if you don't know where to find them uh, check the back side of your computer, the back cover of your computer and here you're gonna find two barcodes and the serial number and SN ID just uh, beneath them as, it's, as it shows right here. So once you found your uh, serial number and SN ID you can write them down or take a picture of them and then enter them into this uh, field that you can see right here. Uh, so let me enter mine. I'm gonna use the SNID because it's much shorter. Then press enter. And on the following page, you'll be able to f uh, find all the drivers for your computer. So if you need some uh, specific driver, you can uh, just click download next to it and it will download a zip file on your computer and I'm gonna show you for example this Bluetooth driver how to install this Bluetooth driver all you have to do is open the oh, let me actually um, op o open the zip file then uh, copy this folder by using ctrl C then use uh, then go back to downloads and paste this folder into this uh, into the downloads folder by using control V then open the drivers folder and here you'll find uh, something like setup driver windows comment script uh, file just uh, run it uh, click run then click run again then click yes and then wait until the installation is complete as you can see the installation process is completed and now we can pr press any key to exit and uh, if you want to make sure that ch the change is applied open the start menu go to power options and select re restart and uh, after that uh, the driver will surely be updated and uh, now the fastest way to update all the necessary drivers to for your computer is by downloading the acer, acer control center application so to do that, uh, scroll down to uh, the list to the application section and here you'll find the Acer Control Center application. Just hit download next to it, wait until the application is uh, downloaded. Uh, and uh, once it's downloaded, just like we did with the drivers, you're gonna have to wait until it's uh, here in downloads folder. Uh, then open this zip file, then uh, copy this uh, folder from here go back to downloads paste it 
open this uh, folder then run the setup file and so during the setup process you're gonna have to click yes and next then accept user agreement by hitting the checkbox next to i accept user agreement uh, of course read the user agreement first and then click next a couple of times and the application will be installed. I'm not gonna do it right now because uh, I'm, I already have it on my computer. So uh, I'm gonna close uh, all the windows and show you what to do next. Open the start menu, then go to all applications list and here in, under the C letter, you're gonna find the care center application. Just open it and wait for it to load. And here you're gonna find the update section or update tab, the blue one, uh, click on it. Wait until it loads up. And now if you have any updates, uh, uh, driver updates that are necessary for your device, just click check now. And then uh, either hit the, ch uh, if you, if you, uh, this application finds any well as you can see it didn't find any updates for me because uh, it's, it's, it's my, my system is up to date but it finds if it finds any updates you can uh, you you're gonna be able to hit the checkbox next to the one that you want to download then click down uh, update or if you want to update all drivers just click update all right here once this button is active and the, the drivers will be downloaded and uh, installed automatically uh, then you'll just have to probably have to restart your laptop just like before and uh, after that your updates will be updated and that's it thank you for watching this video if you liked it consider subscribing to our channel leave us a like and a comment below and i'll see you in the next one